Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. Special guest today is like yesterday is Dan the man. Uh, you've seen the last video, me and Dan was gonna lift it off. Uh, it did not happen, as you can tell. Dan said, you gotta cut the center post out. <laughs> I did not cut the center post, so we did not lift it off. So we're back at it. I'm going to cut the center post. It's, I don't say center post. Uh, it's a split window, but I guess it's a center post. I'm just gonna cut that. One cut, I'm not gonna cut anything out of it because what I wanna do is I wanna show um, what the post would look like if when we lower it down. So when we lower it down, this center piece is gonna show what these, these posts here would look like when we put it back down if we just cut the four inches out of that post. Also, there's another thing that come to my brain. Uh, it come from Jolene, her beautiful brain is who it come from. She said, you cut up on top of the the post where it's wider um, than say here somewhere where it's a little bit thinner and yes I did um, I'm going to end up cutting it down here where it's wider and and on the door post on the door post itself where it's wider um, I did that because I need the length of the post uh, to go to the roof I can't cut it down here and then try to line it up again have a nice straight post so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up cutting this out and then I'll probably take what I need out of the middle of it and then put the post in straight. I just can't cut the roof off, set it back down, and, and cut this pillar and relief this pillar and then make them come straight. I'm, I'm going to have to pull this out, take some meat out of the center, because you obviously can see that it's a better distance in the center. Uh, like that's quite a width up here um, compared to here. So I'm going to pull this post out. I want this width here. I don't want to take the, you know, anything out of that. We'll take it at the center. We'll weld it back together so it's nice and straight. And then when I put the post in, lean it back, the post is straight. Just so, exact same thing. I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. If I have to do the exact same thing on this post or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off here. We're going to cut... I think what we'll do is we'll leave maybe I'm not sh I'm not quite sure yet at the present moment I'm gonna cut that post um, also with just me and Dan here and Jolene we have not got enough people to pick that roof up and bring it around the car and then set it down and, and the reason being is my arms or Dan's arms aren't long enough to reach over the side of the car and hold that roof it'd be quite a quite a chug for two people even three people with the sharp metal in the back if we did go to set it down you can see it's chopped up here chopped here chopped there and then it's got this tail hanging on it so it wouldn't sit right this is just flimsy metal so we'd end up bending the you know the rear sail panels we don't want to bend them up we want them in place so what's going to happen is, is I'm going to cut we'll cut one we'll cut the post i'm not sure what post i want to cut yet i'm going to make a line here and figure it out so i'm going to end up cutting uh, these all all these pieces and we're just going to leave the roof on so they're going to be cut but yet it's still going to hold the roof on and then what we can do after we get everything cut then we'll pull it then we'll pick the roof up we'll pull them out and then we'll set one side down and then we'll go to the other side but what i want to do is i want to make a line where i'm going to cut I'm not sure. Just not sure. How's that? It's okay, isn't it, not to be sure? I think I'm going to cut that. We're going to take somebody here. And if I have to, I'll take some out of there. And but we'll, what, what we'll do is we'll take it out after, I, when I pull that piece out, then I can cut that out and then I weld it back together nice and straight and then we'll put the piece back in. Um, what's going on here on the 33 Plymouth, we just, we just did that chop. That post didn't have that width down here and have that narrow up there. That post was nice and straight all the way down like this post and that's why it was able to do that. I'm just going to go across on this side, mark this one out. Should probably cut that. Let's 
it's gonna work for that. This antenna is kind of in my way, but we'll just leave it for now. Just kind of looking back. Actually, I'm gonna look from the front. They don't look bad. Alrighty. So what I'm what I'm thinking is the roof. Uh, the roof's kind of sitting on there now. It's, it's, it's in place with that piece right there now. It can't fall too far. Let's, let's cut these out, I guess. Just kind of wondering. I'm just trying to figure out which post is best to cut. I guess it don't really much matter. Just cut one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the center post first. Get my zip cut rolling. Got my gloves over here on the running board. And as I cut this, you know, I cut this roof off, you know, I want, you know, I don't want, but just stop and think about it for a second. If you went on the old internet or the old interweb or whatever you want to call it, if you went on there and you wanted to buy a 1951 Mercury two-door, you probably could find one for $30,000. If you went on the internet and you looked for a 1951 Merc chopped and lowered, you probably couldn't find one under $60,000. So, in actual fact, when the roof comes down, it's like a convertible. The price goes up. <laughs> and the reason being is for the amount of work for somebody to be able to do that. Also, uh, on something like this, and it's my opinion, that's, it's my belly button, I feel that this car will be way more attractive, lowered, on the roof than it would be with the roof up in the air. Uh, Dan kind of said it, if you drove into a parking lot, we're sitting having a coffee, if you drove into a parking lot, you say nice old car, but you wouldn't go, ooh, that's, that's pretty cool. But when the roof is knocked down on it and you drive in a parking lot, you probably say, Man, that's cool. So that, basically that's where it's at for me. I like it lowered down. And uh, I think that we'll make, it'll make a great car when we're done. And we are not making a hot rod out of it. We are not, that's not what we're doing. We're making a mild custom. Uh, hot rod to me is a big engine in it fat wheels modified that way we are not doing that we are making a mild custom what i mean by a mild custom is we're lowering the roof down on a little bit and we'll probably take a little out of the suspension and we're leaving the the engine stuff in it that's hopefully that it works you know if the engine works good and all that sort of stuff i will leave it in there reason being is i don't want to spend the money on something that doesn't need to be fixed the country said country singer sang it best uh, what's not broke don't don't fix it you know isn't there a song like that what's not broke don't fix or something like whatever you know what i'm trying to say if it's not broke don't fix it so i'm going to cut this piece first I'm going to cut the center ones first. I'm on this side, so I'm going to cut. I think I'm going to cut these ones first. And what I'll do is I'll run the zip cut through just like the last time, and then we'll get Dan to hold them up as I run the zip cut through. All Didn't make great cuts there, but it is what it is. I'm gonna cut this one too. What the hey? The start of it anyway is not gonna cut it all the way through.
reciprocator saw. Look at that now, would you? I'm on the right side, aren't I? So we're just going to get you to hold up on whatever side you want to hold up on. I don't know if you want to hold up on the door part. Just hold, give me, hold up a little bit. And all he's holding up for is to take the tension off. It's already cut at the top. We're just taking the tension off this down here so the saw doesn't jam up. Don't want it to drop down. Right, and I got a little bit of a cut going on there that doesn't look the greatest, but uh, you know what happens Fixed there. Penetration. Stop it. Leave that there. That's going to be there. Now, Dan, I'm going to ask you to. Now we're out there even further on that post. It's kind of moving on us quite a ways. Mm. Isn't it? The whole car is opening right up on us. Uh, I thought about. That's okay. That's okay. So I'm just going to get you on this side, Dan. I'm going to get you to hold that in place on the bottom and hold up on that if possible. Well, I know it's possible. You can do it. Let her down. <laughs> so we're hoping that state, hoping that state, it wants to fall out. So we want to stay in there. Ugh. That Ooh. chunk of wood down there was holding it together. Okay. I think it's got a wooden brace going down there, right? Yeah, it's got a piece of wood inside it. Cut that in. That was good. Now we're going to go to the other side, hoping that this stays in. The car has, like I said before, the car has a door there. I could have probably, this probably was like that before. Alrighty. It probably would have been nice if I put a, a brace on uh, the inside from door to, from post to post. Uh, it, yeah, I put it could have put a piece of straight rod in there just to hold it together. Just right? to hold yeah. it together because it has come open there. It wouldn't come open up here, but right here is going to come open. But we got our true a true uh, a true reed by the top of the roof, so it'll just be pushed in, and then we'll go that way. Push it, tack it, it'll stay. Yeah, exactly. Push it, tack it, it'll stay. Um, I'm just wondering if we should just cut this whole side while we're here. I'm going to, you want to just hold that in place, mm -hmm. like just hold that in place maybe. It's not really, and what else do I want you to do? I want you to just pull that in place with that hand, and just hold up with, see what happens. Well, you know what, if, how about we just, oh, this roof has kind of moved. That's why it's going on. It's moved. That's why it's moved over. That's because I can tell by the top post. Let's go cut the other side of those two things, then we'll cut the front post. Okay. I think that's more. It may seem like it's moved over, but yeah. I think it's because this is moving out. Yeah. Right? We're all good. Yep. We're all good. I'm thinking we are. And I've been wrong before, so. do the exact same thing on this side we're going to take and cut those ones and then we're going to cut the front post kind of got myself a little bit 
weary. I could put vice grips on those on the other side, C-clamp, so they can't take off, but I can't see them falling out. You'd have to really This one here is kind of flimsy, but <laughs> you got that right. The green tape's holding it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no sense. I'm just going to do one. that one stays in place we should be fine come over here and we're gonna zip cut this one basically we're doing it this way uh, because of the fact that we're not lifting the roof off that's the only reason that we're doing we're cutting this why the roof's on I any other way if you know if there was a couple more people here we could pluck the roof off and set it on something but we're compromising and trying to cut it and then we're just trying to try to set it down because we have not got the people. It's just, just kind of hold this one here and read down, please and thank you. Just a little, take a little bit of pressure off. Okay. Oh, there goes my new disc. <laughs> Not that much pressure. <laughs> I'm going to put a pair of vice grip, pair of grips on that so it stays. So it can't fall out. This one's holding good on this side. Just more or less holding the roof up, I guess. Stop it. Stop it. Want to stay for me? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. All right, let's go to try that. Actually, I'm gonna turn this around. Yeah, I'm just trying to just trying to hold it there so it stays. There. Try and do the next one. We'll just go easy on this one and we'll do the exact same thing. down there yep this is holding it okay it's got pressure on that 
chunk that dropped down inside of there. Yeah, that's fine. By your light. Yeah, that's <coughs> fine. As long as it stays on something to hold it up, if you know what I'm trying yep. to say. Basically, that's what we're doing. We're just trying to hold it in place. Door was out like that. Alrighty. I'm gonna cut. We'll cut this one off, and then uh, change the disc. Yeah, any other time we'd take the roof off, we cut those pieces off, there'd be no issue. Uh, we just do not want the roof to fall because we haven't got the people. So we're compromising on what we're doing to get it done. Aye. Damn it. Also, the people, or I don't say the people, uh, the trip that we took to Australia was a fantastic time. We got to go to a bunch of different shops. Got to meet a bunch of different people and see different ways of how people do different things. Um, if you're interested in taking that uh, journey in Australia, um, Rod, the guy that set it up for us, uh, I think is going to be doing maybe doing a shop tours. And uh, if you're interested in doing the exact same tour that we had, or the exact same, uh, doing that shop tours like we did, and are interested in, you know, the Australian car world, which, which it is huge, um, you can contact Rod. Rod is, uh, Rod's on our, what, what you posted on? The Bad Chad Facebook page. You can go on there and you can check it out. He's got a flyer made up there that Jolene has shared. If you're in Australia, you want to go to Australia, you want to take that tour, you want to learn more about it, um, Rod would be the guy to contact. And, and the reason we're supporting it is because we had a fantastic time. And uh, if, you, if you're looking for that adventure, it's there. So go to our Facebook page and look it up. Alrighty, um, I don't know what to say, hold up, down, uh, just basically. It's going to be like holding a wet noodle. Yeah, just kind of hold it, I guess, because I'm going to try to chop this out, and uh, I don't know if you have to pull up, just kind of just hold it, I guess, would be the best, best thing. I'm going to plug it in so it works. Never throw anything away that you're chopping. Beautiful. Um, we can just take that out. Not gonna go anywhere. So. This one's holding. Yeah. Let's go to the other side. We're gonna try not to rock the boat on the other side. We'll just kind of uh, hold as much as we can. Hopefully them pieces, just hold, hope that stays in there. Take it up just a That's holding. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Now, <laughs> we're held up by some stilts. Everything's cut. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's fine. Um, just want to peel this tape off in the back and think about it for a second. So, what we are going to end up doing, try to, we're going to try to set one side in at a time or what's one side down at a time. So what we'll do is we'll do it together. We'll go slow and hopefully them pieces stay in on the other side. So we're gonna try to tuck the back down in, are we? 
We are on one side, at a, we'll do one okay. side at a time, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, I know how to make this car look old. Put some tape on it, rip it off. It'll pull the paint off. This is... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Seeing where I'm over on this side, we'll probably drop this side down first. So what's going to happen is, I'm going to put my gloves on because it's going to be sharp. We got to just try to make sure that them pieces don't fall out on that side because you just kind of it's going to come down on. This is what it's going to do. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to try to line these pieces back up with these pieces. Don't have to fit perfectly right now. We're just going to set it down. But I have to lift this up, put this on the inside. That's on the inside now. Um, I'm going to take this off. Just pick up lightly, just lightly. Oh, and pull your, drop your piece in. Just one toe. Yep. Yep. Just pick it up. Just kind of hold it where it's at. All right. All right. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Oh. Yep. Exactly. What I was thinking. Let's let's let it down on this side. You okay? You stay on this side. Okay. I got her. You got her. Just got her held down there. Yeah. I'm going to go on this side. <laughs> I'm going to slide that down in there. Pull this out. Oh, she's getting front heavy. Popped out on this side. Okay. It popped out on this side. Okay. Popped out? In the back, yeah. Okay. We're down on now. Right? Yeah. Watch yourself. Try to shove it back in place. It's not going down all the way. Can we? Let's just try to get it back a little bit further. Want me to go on the other side? Man, that's got some meat. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about we do this together? I'm going to take and move this, pick this roof up, and move it back, and I'll get you put a pair of clamps on this. Which side? Want me on your side? That's badass. That's badass. <laughs> now we go into a parking lot. Now they're going to look at us. Huh? I'm going to get you to clamp this right here. Oy. See where it right to there? We'll get that put the door back together. Right. Yeah, clamp that. Got it? Tight enough. Okay. There? Yep. Cool. That's cool. Oops, good there. Oh yeah, that's good. Awesome. Let's go to the other side and get another clamp on the other side. Looking at it, I might it's have to. There, pretty good. Eh? Not bad. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Right. Now come take a look at the front window. Hmm, that's quite a rake there going on from there to there. See the distance road there? Not sure how I'm going to get that back to that distance, but we will. Oh, we will. Yeah, it's going to be...
There you go, there's the... Alrighty, so this is up here quite a ways. This is up here quite a ways. It's going to take me a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get inside and make sure that we get these posts lined up on the inside straight before we go any further. So the only, the only the tacking, any tacking is going on, I'm going to go in probably through the trunk and I'll go in on the inside, get it clamped, get it clamped in place, and I'm going to tack the inside. You can come see, come take a look at this. I'm going to want this piece straight, I'm thinking, instead of the door post itself. But you know what? It, I don't know if it much matters if I get that straight or not. But basically, I'd want to get that straight as possible. I don't mind that. It makes the mine a lot different when that goes in. Ooh, that makes it fit a lot better when I do that. That's probably what I'll do is I'll end up pushing them in and get them as straight as possible. On the back, this trunk lid, it looks to me like if I, I can come around here, like this can all be cut and that could be fitted. Let's just pull that out and get that fitted. It's not in there, right? Just looking at it, got a, quite a gap going on here. I've got lots of meat here. If you can see here, when I put the roof, put the back window down, I've got lots of meat there to put that back window down on. You can see when I put, you know, where this meat is here and this up here. It comes way up here. That's great. I'm just not, this is what I'm not sure of. I'm not sure if I like this part here. I'm going to have to cut this around here and get to a, a flat place because you never bend that down. I got the package tray still inside that is, what? That is still connected. I've got that pack. So that, in order to bend that down, that package tray has to be cut. Um, what I'm thinking there on the package tray in the back, come take a look here, sweetheart. I can cut this package tray along. Package tray is connected. This is connected to the wheel well, this piece. Connect the wheel well down there and to the package tray, which is welded to the back window there. To cut up by that back window up in there is kind of a hard deal. So what I would do is I'd run a grinder across here, cut that off there. Then the package tray is free from this piece and it will be able to be maneuvered. Um, so I'll probably end up cutting it free there. To put that back window down, I'll probably cut it around here and get to a flat spot. If I leave it, you know, about, um, you know, that much, that can be bent down. I'm just not sure if I enjoy this and then turn down, I'm not sure yet. Um, that's what I'm not sure, because we get quite a, you can see how that's turned up there. But it very much, and that package tray will end up turning down a little bit. That's fine. I just cut the top off where I connected it and weld it back together so the package tray won't be like this anymore. The package tray will be like that. Not planning on putting any packages in it. <laughs> not, not planning on doing that. This front post, that's, 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 that's an ordeal right there um, to get that window lined up again and get that coming down around there again. That's, that's going to be an ordeal. Uh, We'll get it, but it's going to be an ordeal. Uh, the top of the window, I think, is going to be fine, but to get that window lined up, get these these working again, um, that's going to be, be an ordeal. And what what might happen is, is whatever's going to happen is I have to make that lip go all the way around there nice. I'm going to have to maneuver them posts there quite a heavily, but. There you go. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to, that's where I'm going to leave it right now. I'm going to do a little brain thinking from, from here on in. Uh, this, this obviously can be pushed in a little bit. Well, not a whole bunch. That line didn't come back together too bad there. There's a little bit there. I have that piece that we cut out of there. If I want to make that round, that shape is, I still have that shape. I would not put it all in, but I put a little tiny piece in to make it look right. Just another thought. Yeah, go for it. If 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 I did that, yeah, I just take and cut it once, mm -hmm. and then lay it in, overlap it, and then do that. Grind it up. Yeah. So basically, he's thinking the right thing, but I, I, I've done that before. Is V'd it? I'm just kind just of take yes, exactly. I take one. I can do one slice there, and then we can push it ahead a little bit, 
and then wherever it overlaps you run the grinder through it and it's called I guess you'd be shrinking it because it'd be taking metal out of it but we can take and put a cut there a cut on the other side and lay the whole trunk lid down uh, once the package tray is free that can most certainly be done and it would just be one weld mark which is good which is fine um, but what I probably will going to think it over a little bit is what I'm going to do uh, my main hurdle that I see right at the present moment is going to be the front windshield post there, there's two big hurdles that's got to go on uh, that front windshield post has got to be laid back and it's going to have a yeah I may have we'll see what happens how's that we'll, sleep on it what's that sleep on it sleep <laughs> I'm going to sleep on it but you can see how it would have joined up there would have joined it like that I'm really liking the the look of, of that I'm really liking that um, with it lowered to the ground it's going to look quite quite something else um, yeah so hmm I, I got to cut the package tray free no matter what so I'm going to have to open the trunk lid and get inside there cut the package tree free no matter what because to, to get this laid down that's not a problem I'm just wondering whether I want to lay it all down and what's going to happen is I'm going to cut that and then it's going to overlap and then I'm going to cut it again to shrink it to get it to lay down all right everybody thanks for coming back I appreciate Dan showing up and helping me do what I got to do I would have never gotten it at this point without him um, reason being I would never have got it you know down that far uh, I am going to sleep on it like Dan said I'm going to sleep on it that door was put like that anyways all right and then this gap was like that because we got it welded there it did not take off that gap is like that it did not take off all right everybody thanks for coming back we appreciate it we've just chopped a four door uh, we lowered it down four inches I like the rake on it I like the window height on it if you think it looked better before that's your opinion I think it looks better now um, and, w and when we go into town we were in the parking lot and, and this old car all chopped down and this patina lowered down the ground it's gonna be smoking all right like share comment say hi to Dan the man and uh, show get... to the moderators and join in the chat live chat every evening right on cool um, and subscribe see you tomorrow everybody